Stories of the Companions Chapter 3 C. Abu Huraira in a State of Hunger Once Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, after wiping his nose with a piece of fine linen, said to himself, Look at Abu Huraira. He cleans his nose with fine linen today. I remember the time when he used to lie down between the minbar and the Nabi's house. People took him to be suffering with, from epilepsy and put their feet on his neck. But there was nothing wrong with him other than spasms of hunger. Note, Abu Huraira, Adilahu Anhu, had to remain hungry for days together. At times he was overpowered with hunger so much that he fell unconscious, and people mistook this as an attack of epilepsy. Apparently in those days... They treated epilepsy by putting a foot on the neck of the patient. Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, is one of those people who endured extremes of want and poverty in the early days of Islam. He, however, saw better days in latter years when Muslim conquests followed in succession. He was very pious and loved very much to perform Nafal Salah. He had with him a full bag of date stones. He used these stones for his thicker remembrance. I, I'm going to try to... Every time there's something that, one has, that, you, that you guys haven't heard as part of this series, I'm going to try to throw the translation at least the first time. When the bag was empty, his maid filled it again with date stones. Somebody was always busy in Salah, in his house during the night, his wife and his servants, taking terms with him in Salah. I have heard my father relate to my grandfather's routine, uh, relate that my grandfather's routine was very similar. My father would remain busy with his studies until an hour past midnight when my grandfather uh, my, my father would remain busy with his studies until an hour past midnight when my grandfather would wake up insist on my father's going to sleep, and himself would stand up in the Hajjud Salah. He would then wake up my father's elder brother three quarters of an hour before Fajr, before Fajr, and would himself lie down for a while in obedience to the Sunnah, you know, tradition. May Allah grant us the ability to follow them.